rest is like a dream. The story will begin with the pursuit by the FBI of a fugitive murder case named Ray Cooper. We call it Ray. Where in order to avoid the process of arrest he was desperate to fall from the height of a building. What's this supposed to be like this? It's over. This situation was caused by a condition that occurred several years ago. Where Ray had lived happily with her small family before all of this was finally taken away after his wife, Amanda Dot was diagnosed with cancer, which medically has no guarantee of recovery. The pain has brought us closer together. And watching her grow. Until a glimmer of hope began to appear when a doctor brought good news that a drug company called Bioprime would soon be releasing Sparrow or a type of drug that was very suitable for the disease and could be used as soon as possible. This is great news, Ray. I love you. Good job, Mom. Since several days there was still no act of treason, Ray immediately questioned the reason to the doctor concerned. And how disappointed Ray was when the doctor only clarified it with an apology because it turned out that Sparrow, Ray's only hope, had again had its distribution and sales license revoked. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. While Ray was thinking hard and didn't know what else to do, Ray accidentally saw a talk show on television between the CEO of Bioprime named Simon Keeley. We call Simon. And a senator candidate named Diana Morgan. Who we call Diana. Where when the question and answer session opened, Ray immediately called and threatened to hunt down Simon if something untoward happened to his wife Amanda. You've already taken everything from me! If my wife dies, I will hunt you down and kill you with my bare hands. It's your death sentence. And sure enough, after that, Amanda finally died while still in the arms of her daughter named Rachel. And as the spearhead of Ray's family, of course, he felt very sad and angry because according to he this happened due to the negligence of certain parties. No! <coughs> In short, six months have passed. During the time, Ray, who works as a skilled wrestler, still cannot escape her sad contemplations. It is evident that there are always tears in her daily activities. Pice! 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 One day, Ray was contacted by a journalist regarding the death of his wife, and because this matter was confidential, they agreed to discuss it face to face. At Gateway Station, in 20 minutes, I won't waste your time. I have proof that crimes have been committed. Who was that? At that time, Ray rushed to the designated place. While Rachel was told to wait at home, Rachel secretly followed Ray from behind because she was curious and wanted to know what had been hidden from her. I'm a little afraid of how deep this thing might go. What is that? Okay, honestly. Short trip, Ray meets the journalist in a train car where he explains that the reason Bioprime is pulling Sparrow back from the market is because an interested party has bribed them. Where the journalist wants to help him in exposing the scandal. However. I'm seeing to his knees. <laughs> the journalist is suddenly stabbed by an unknown man followed by the appearance of Rachel, so that apart from having to get up to fight Ray he also has to protect his daughter who occasionally even joins in the attacks. The fights also look quite balanced where the mysterious man is quite overwhelmed. However, with Rachel's condition already lying down, without caring about anything else, Ray immediately went to Rachel. And finally, Two years after the incident, Rachel, who naturally received an incarnation of wrestling talent from her father, was seen in the middle of a training session full of emotion, even so emotional that she didn't realize that she had almost killed her training opponent. Big shots. <coughs> That's it. He's tapping. Rachel. Rachel. He's tapping. Rachel. Rachel, he's tapping. Rachel. <laughs> On the other hand, we are shown Diana's face again on television, where this time Simon and a new character named Saw have worked together to restore the function of Bioprime. 
It's just that now Bioprime is under Diana's shadow and turns out to be used as a tool for her political propaganda. What are you planning to do? Meanwhile, Ray secretly sets Simon as a search target which he will soon find at a charity auction that Diana will be holding with representatives from the United Nations. I need to try. In the midst of the crowd of the event, Ray disguised himself as a banquet waiter, and after Simon finished giving his short speech, Ray managed to soil Simon's pride jacket, then with that he will surely immediately go to the toilet to clean it. What the fuck? Exactly as Ray had planned, Simon and his two bodyguards were seen walking towards the toilet. But without them even realizing that Ray had prepared everything to trap them. And... I authorize a bribe now and again, but it's not like I... Realizing that there would be consequences from this action, Ray then went home to meet Rachel and told her to pack up on the grounds that their position there was not good. People are gonna come after us, aren't they? I don't know. Go pack! Meanwhile, in another place, namely at the scene of the crime, two police agents arrived, namely Sarah and her friend. They received information from one victim who survived and they got a bright spot that previously the perpetrator had threatened to hunt down Simon. Thank you. From this motive, the FBI finally succeeded in finding relevant digital traces where all the data validly and accurately referred to the perpetrator, namely Ray Cooper. Let's put an APB out on Cooper's vehicle. On the other hand, Ray and Rachel had gone far away from home and to be more precise they had just arrived at a hotel. And to their surprise, they did not know the two gunmen were chasing them and had received orders to kill them. As a father, Ray definitely knows what to do that by setting a makeshift alarm he will be able to know when he should be alert to the possibility of a threat like when these two men appeared. Yeah, the sound of the alarm earlier at least gave Ray time to secure Rachel first because in the end he still had to fight them himself. And the fight began. And we return to Sarah and her friends who came to Ray's house for further investigation purposes, after finding Simon's photos plastered there many of them as if they had confirmed that Ray was the culprit. You got something? Whoa, we definitely got our suspect. As time went on, Rachel began to realize that her father's actions were not right and asked Ray to stop endangering them. But here Ray doesn't want to budge because he has to finish all of this for the sake of justice. So he also made small preparations with makeshift tools. Shit. Unbeknownst to her father, Rachel secretly contacted Sarah and told her about her family's past, and after hearing this, Sarah asked Rachel to stop Ray, because Rachel was the one in control of all this. Say your name in control you are rachel cooper rachel cooper that's it when everything was ready rachel who previously didn't want to be involved was finally taken because ray understood very well that rachel definitely didn't want to lose her father or the only person she had right now Let's just see, Papa. 
It is known that Ray's next target is the person who will soon leave this house, namely Shaw. But here Ray just realized that it seems he has the arrival of a new person who seems to be targeting the same target. See you at the airport. Hold on. As Shaw's entourage left the house, Ray headed straight for the bridge entrance that had been set with a trap. And so far the scenario goes according to plan with the Shah and his entourage completely falling for the trap. Ray realized that it was true that there were still other people who were hunting Shaw too, who knows who and for what purpose, what was clear was that Ray had to immediately get the information he needed from Shaw before anything happened to him. But suddenly... Turn up what it takes. Oh. Oh. No! Yes, in the end Shaw was killed by a man named Santos, who was none other than the executor of the stabbing of journalists on the train at that time, and now Ray and Rachel are forced to go back to dealing with him again. Long story short, Ray was already back on his way with a replacement car and he accidentally saw Santos' car parked at a restaurant and he chose to stop there to meet him. Hold on. What are you doing? They think it was wrong. You tell them everything. It was thought that the business with Santos ended with the killing of Shaw, but it turned out that it was not enough because Santos had been paid to kill anyone who was deemed to be interfering with his boss's affairs, in this case Ray was the last person he targeted. Your business with me is done. No amount of revenge can change that. After an agreement was reached between them, Santos as a professional killer doesn't mind even having to wait until Ray finds his final target because the person Ray is referring to here turns out to be the person who has also paid for Santos, namely Senator Diana. Therefore they must be reunited to carry out their respective goals. Person you're looking for. Diana Morgan. You knew going after powerful people was a dangerous business. See you in Pittsburgh. The next morning the police saw the car that Ray was driving towards the city, so that night the FBI immediately dispatched a special team to stop Ray's movement, who was fighting for justice. Along with the crowd of baseball fans who had just dispersed, Ray continued to try to avoid being chased by officers to the point that he was desperate to climb the roof of the stadium hoping to get a miracle in the form of rescue in the midst of his escape. When Ray was really cornered, Sarah came along as if she already knew who Ray really was. And Ray himself seemed to have begun to understand what Sarah meant. It's me. I'm here to help. Okay? Look, no one is gonna hurt you. What's it supposed to be like this? Remember. And, finally, a surprising fact was revealed that the person who had been talking to Sarah and carrying out all these actions was not Ray, but Rachel, who had been traumatized since her parents died, so Rachel felt that she was Ray, who had vowed to demand justice. Say your name. Rachel. I'll see you soon. After realizing what she had done, Rachel, who actually still had not accepted the fact, chose to commit suicide by jumping from the roof of the stadium. Realizing that she had survived this desperate act, Rachel slowly got up and tried to escape from the escort of FBI officers in this way. Stop! 
The next day, we will be shown at a political campaign event. There Diana was fierily conveying her empty promises. On the other hand Rachel slipped between the crowd of sympathizers followed by the appearance of Santos who was so sure that his target was there. This is our state. And we have one thing to say. It is not for sale. Secretly Rachel continued to target Diana into her secretariat office even without a weapon. Rachel really only relied on the courage entrusted through her father's heritage jacket which Rachel immediately felt the aura of his presence when she wore it. When she was about to be met, apparently Diana was still in another room with her success team, so Rachel had to be a little patient waiting for her to arrive. But it turns out. Yeah. Santos' appearance made Rachel have to jump out. Where Rachel confused Santos by hiding. And somehow it could be, a Santos-class killer looked very careful even though what he faced was only a girl without weapons who at first glance was harmless. But apparently. In terms of guts and fighting techniques, there was clearly no problem, because Rachel herself had wrestler blood inherited from her father. But when it came to physical posture and power, of course Santos dominated, making Rachel helpless. It was at this time that a magical whisper came from her father, where Rachel's strength and courage came back even many times over. Get up, sweet girl. Come on, baby. Get up. Continuing without lingering any longer, Rachel immediately went to Diana who happened to be already in her room. And like an adult, Rachel urged a senator candidate to admit his dirty deeds loudly and firmly. Oh! Tell me the truth. In the end, Diana also admitted that she was behind the bioprime scandal along with questions about government bribery, murder and many other crimes that were never mentioned. And unfortunately it was all a real trend in contestation on the political stage. And what was even worse was that Diana was not aware that Rachel had recorded all of her confessions. Now tell the truth. I ordered the hit. I took the bribe. That's how it works. The candidate with the most money wins. When the media and the FBI were too focused on reporting on Rachel to the point that they didn't care if Rachel herself was preparing to leave her current country immediately which on the way she also sent Diana's voice recording file to Sarah from where Sarah began investigating every possible crime. What Diana has done and establishes her as a suspect in a case that occurred two years ago where her own parents were the victims. The past is like a dream. Even if details are blurred with time. Where do we stop? And they begin. Okay guys, thanks to watch this video. And, don't forget to, subscribe.